Welcome back, tech enthusiast and 3D printing fanatics. Today, we're diving into one of the biggest leaps in Mac Mini performance ever. It's not just an upgrade, it's like going from a filament spool to a resin printer. Smoother, faster, and downright impressive. We're comparing the M1 Mac Mini, a fan favorite from late 2020, with Apple's latest powerhouse, the N4 Pro Mac Mini. Spoiler alert, the N4 Pro isn't just faster. It's the fast, it's practically printing its own hype. But before we jump into benchmarks and slicing tests, let's set the stage with a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the specs of these two machines. Here's what we're working with. The M1 Mac Mini, released in 2020, processor. Apple M1 with an 8-core CPU and an 8-core GPU memory, 16 gigabytes of RAM storage, 512 gigabytes of solid-state drive storage. The M4 Pro Mac Mini, released in 2024 processor, Apple M4 Pro with a 14 core CPU and a 20 core GPU memory, 24 gigabytes of RAM storage, 1 terabyte of solid state drive storage. The M4 Pro nearly doubles the CPU and GPU power, adds more memory, and offers twice the storage. On paper, it looks unstoppable, but how do these stats translate into real world performance? Let's find out. Now that we've seen the specs, it's time to put these machines to the test. From Geekbench benchmarks to slicing files in Orca Slicer, we're about to see just how much of a difference this leap in power makes. Let's get practical. I tested both machines with Orca Slicer, slicing a large, complex 3D print file into G code. Here are the results. The M1 Mac Mini completed the task in Twenty five seconds. The N4 Pro Mac Mini finished in just eleven seconds. That's a fifty six percent reduction in time. For anyone who slices dozens of files a week, this isn't just faster. It's the kind of speed that makes you want to slice extra prints just for fun. Now, let's talk numbers. Geekbench 6 scores give us a great snapshot of performance. Single core performance, the M1 scored 2403, the M4 Pro scored 3870, that's a 161% improvement. Multi-core performance, the M1 scored 8,679. The M4 Pro scored 21,913, a staggering 252% leap in multi-core performance. If the M1 was a reliable button setup, the M4 Pro is like switching to direct drive, instant power, precision, and no delays. The M4 Pro doesn't just excel in slicing, it's a beast across the board. Here are some of the most impressive results. Ray tracing. The N4 Pro process task almost three times faster than the N1 HDR rendering. A 279% improvement. PDF rendering. 259% faster. So there you have it. An upgrade so significant. It's almost unbelievable. Whether you're slicing files, running multi-core tasks, or just want the fastest machine for the job, the N4 Pro Mac Mini is in a league of its own. What would you use all this extra power for? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.